everybody and welcome to another edition of How'd They Do That. Today it is our Strawberry Banana Mary and we're out here by the Fairfield Water Tower where they're, they're painting the logos on the water tower. So let's go and find out how they do that. Goodness gracious me, look at how high up they are. You'd never get this cow way up there. Joining me now is the supervisor of this project, Paul. How are you today, Paul? I'm doing good. Very good. Now, Paul, I just have a couple questions to ask you. How high is that up there that those guys are up there? Right now, they're about 140 feet up in the air. And are they secure just in case there's a gust of wind? Oh, yes, sir. Tied off, very, safety lines. Very good. Now, do you have some restrictions if it gets too windy that you have to bring them down? Yes, if it reaches over 25 miles an hour, we bring them down. Amazing. Now, is there any type of special paint that you need to put on these logos so uh, the, the paint stays on there for what? What do what you do logos like maybe every five, 10 years? Yes, about every seven to 10 years. And we just sand it down and then we put a special high gloss urethane on it. Oh, very good. Now, as far as hiring people who paint up there, do you try to get people who are really scared of heights? <laughs> No, 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 they can't have much common sense on that area. <laughs> I got you. Now, I saw uh, on the very tip top of the uh, the water tower as we drove up here, there was actually somebody standing up there. Was that you? That was me. I was moving their rigging so they could come to a new spot on the sign so they could finish painting the rest of that one. Very good. Now, how did you get down? Uh, there's an internal ladder that goes right down the center of the tank. Oh, very good. I thought maybe you, you kind of free roped it down, but that'd probably be a little dangerous. It would be. Well, folks, I hope you have now learned how they paint the logos on the wall. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it looks like a helicopter's landing over here. I bet you that helicopter's gonna help them paint the water tower. Wait a minute. That helicopter's not here to help paint the water tower. That helicopter is from Mosquito Control. Ooh, oh, look at there's some people there. I bet you they'd love to talk to a cow. Woohoo! Mmm. I don't think this is cow food, but here's somebody who could certainly answer that question for me. It's Steve from the Mosquito Control District. How are you doing, Steve? Doing very well. How about you, Marietta? I'm doing great. Now, what are you guys doing out here with this helicopter today? Well, what we're doing is um, controlling mosquito larvae before they become adults and bite people. Oh, well, we don't like that. And the helicopter will go to the wetlands where the mosquitoes are breeding where the mosquitoes are developing and put in a, a biological control. Is that's that what, what this you, is? That's what you see here. Yes. And um, these pellets release a bio control into the water that the mosquito larvae absorb and it prevents them from becoming adults. Oh, well, I suppose we're having lots and lots of mosquito larvae with all the rain we've with had all, recently. Yes, with all the rain, we're treating thousands and thousands of acres with um, larval control materials to prevent mosquitoes from flying away as adults and biting you. Oh yeah, well, like I said before, we don't like it when they bite us. Ew, gross. Now what are some things that citizens can do like in the, around the house to make sure that those nasty mosquitoes don't grow up into uh, adults? Main thing you wanna do is make sure you look for any kind of container that can hold water and dump it out. Oh. Or if you can't dump it out, um, drill a hole in it or somehow render it unable to hold water. If it can hold water for less than five days, uh, the mosquitoes will not have time to develop in it and you won't have mosquitoes coming out of it. Well, everyone, we have 
have had such a great time here this month on how they do that. We got to figure out how they paint a logo on top of a water tower, and we got to see the Mosquito Control District helicopter land here and find out about how they control the mosquitoes here around the Twin Cities. Oh, I'm so excited. So until next time, this is Marietta for how they do that. Oh, oh no, the helicopter's going to take off. I better get out of here before it turns me into hamburger. We're getting out of here. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody.